Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this slow mo particle effect inside After Effects. It's a really, really cool effect. And it is pretty easy to achieve, not gonna lie. And I also like to shout out my guy, Cozy Production, for leaking the sauce on this effect because he was the first one to do it. So I'll link his social down below. Really talented guy. So you can follow him there. Before getting more into the video, I'd just like to let you guys know about the Winter Arc sale going on my side. It's a buy one, get one free sale. So if you add two packs in your card, you'll get one for free so you can do this how many times as you want you can add like six packs to your card and get three for free but without further ado let's just get into the video so you can see in my timeline i have this simple clip right here it is two clips just to make the tutorial a little quick because i don't want to waste time like rotoscoping and all that good stuff so just like duplicate your clip and just delete the roto from the bottom layer and it will be good to go right here but after your roto is done however so after that we'll start adding the particles and stuff so if you head over to my description you'll find some particle overlay so this is the one we'll be using we'll be actually using two so this is the one and this is the second one i guess so we'll be using this it's called particle 9 and particle 11 so we're gonna use those so go over to the description it's free just grab it right now so after you download these just drag it in your timeline i'm gonna drag the nine first and just put it below your roto layer so it goes behind your subject then you can actually mute this and scale it down and just put it right here or somewhere around here so it goes something right there. You can of course scale it up and just fit it in your so something right there and maybe center it up so it comes from the artist back so something right there. So after you have your sparks between both of your layer, now to remove the blacks, so all you gotta do is like toggle switch and most and go over to which is normal and just set it to screen right here what it will do is just like set your blending mode to screen and remove the what you can say all the black on your like video you're gonna even set it to linear dodge right here to get it a little cooler effect something right there as you can see that looks hard for sure and now you can drag the spike 11 right here this will be also linked in the description so you can just grab it from there really quick and just put this between your roto and your background as well mute it and you can just set it to linear dodge right here then you can actually hide your spark and just line it up as well line this up so just scale it up and just put it right there yeah that looks cool for sure so you can just like mess around with the position to be honest like put it wherever you want wherever it suits your video i'm actually leave the clip like the raw clip so you can practice around into the description as well so you can just grab some sauce from there also this is sought by my guy ed so you can check him out too i actually forgot to mention him but you can just check it out i'll link it in the description really dope guy as well but anyways you can just slide it in position wherever it's source for real bro like over here and just turn on the spark 9 maybe i'm gonna put my spark 9 above my spark 11 geez that's a lot of particles maybe i'm just gonna lower down the opacity of my 11 because it is a lot of particle not gonna lie we're gonna set it over here yeah it goes like that that looks hard for sure then now we can start adding the actual sauce in here so the first effect we're gonna add on our sparks would be a deep glow i guess this would be a first and last effect but this is really really cool just add a deep glow and you'll see a difference like it has that crazy glow in there if i like hide my spark 11 you can see that looks totally crazy maybe you can like lower down the threshold for sure and just bring up the exposure and you can see the magic right there maybe bring up the radius a little bit more or lower down the exposure and you can just copy that deep glow into your spark 11 and you would get this crazy effect right here maybe we just gonna bring up the threshold for the spike 11 because i don't want it like because i don't want it as glowing as our spike 9 but that looks cool for sure now after the spikes what you can do is right click on a blank space and go to where it is new and just add an adjustment layer right here and just put this below your spikes right above your background layer as you can see then you can add like an effect called cc vignette in here and just bring up the amount of vignette and the angle of view to get that dark effect on our background and i'm pretty sure cozy also used it so it would look really hard maybe you can bring up the amount a little bit and just like play with it then you can take it a step further by just like toggle switching and morse again and in adjustment layer just set the blending mode to overlay right here what it will do is add that contrast that we need as you can see that looks insane 
bro, that looks so hard. But if I go into my first frame, you can see it looks kind of weird because the effect is not like on our first frame. So to fix that, what you can do is just hit T on your keyboard to bring up the opacity and just hit the stopwatch in the opacity and just go over to where your effect pops up. So around like here and just put this keyframe over here and just go over to the first frame again and just slow it down to zero. So you would get this like fade in right there that looks hard, maybe somewhere around here. And guess what? You can spice it up more by going to Roto. And if you have a plugin called Crate, uh, Crate Light Warp right here, it is actually a free plugin. So you can just go to the footage grace site maybe and just grab it from there. Let me just see it real quick. Uh, if you go over to your browser and just search of like footage, Crate Light, geez, Light Warp right here, Light Warp right here. You can see this plugin right here, free light work plugin. And you can just go into their website right here and just download it real quick. It is really good of a plugin as that like a light work that we need. So you can download this real quick. And after you download it, just add it onto your Roto. Then what you can do is pre-comp your Sparks layer. So you can just select your Spark 9 and your Spark 11 and right click, go over to where it says pre-comp and move all attribute into a new composition and just adjust the composition duration. Just take that and just hit OK. Then now your blacks will be back because as you pre-comp it, your blending mode would go to normal. So to fix that, just set it to linear dodge again and we'll be good to go. But now go back to your Roto layer where we added the light warp right here and go to where it says background layer and just select your background layer as the pre-comp right here instantly you will have this like light warp around your subject one more thing you can do is in source just set it as effects and marks and you can just bring up the blurriness so it looks smooth and just lower down the width as well and you can just bring up the exposure to your liking so around like there around like there maybe yeah that looks hard maybe the width more yeah that looks hard for sure bro that's a sauce right there then now you can hit the stopwatch in exposure and just do the same thing Thing at the first frame just slow it down to zero and as it comes it will come like there so something like there but now if you play it through you can see we have this crazy effect going on but we actually gonna do one more step to spice it up more that will be the slow-mo effect as i told so for that just select all of your layer and just right click go to where it says pre-comp and just pre-comp it then after you pre-comp just add an effect called twixter in here twixter pro if you don't already know this is also a plugin if you don't have this i really recommend getting it because it is one of the best plugin ever not gonna lie it is so cool and if you don't want to buy it you can just like search around the internet and find a good link if you are smart enough you know what i mean but anyways in here we're gonna go to where it says speed and just hit the stopwatch right here and just put this keyframe around over here maybe around like here then go like three frames or four frames in and just set it to something like five something like extreme value so five as you can see and you will get this like crazy slow-mo effect right there but one thing you can do is go in the middle of those both keyframe and just like bring up the speed right there so bring it up to around like 250 or something maybe something right there yeah that looks cool so we have this like time ramp type of effect right here i love the morphing around all of these like particles i guess that looks really hard and you can always extend these keyframes until you get something that you like so something like there and you can easy ease those go into graph and just make a graph like this to like smooth it out so something like this as you can see damn that looks hard maybe something right there and you can even extend the keyframe more if you like now at the end you can add a one more keyframe right here and go over to the end like go over to the end frame and in the end frame again you can bring up the value to back to 200 so it like slowly goes up on speed right there and you can even go over to the graph again and just make a simple graph like this in here goes out you know what i'm saying so something like this maybe you can actually delete this keyframe and just make it more smooth anything you like bro just mess around with it to be honest don't exactly copy me for sure like add your own sauce for sure bro yeah that graph right there looks real hard not gonna lie not gonna lie that graph looks real hard now finally you can see our slow-mo is also done but one more thing i like to do is add some wiggle on it so for that i'll be actually using my own pack you can call me unfair or biased but i really love my own pack so i'm just gonna use it for sure so i'm just gonna create a new adjustment layer right here and just go over to fx and preset real quick let's just lower it up 
And after that, just go over to your animation preset, go over to user presets, and I'll be using my essential FX and transition V1. Just open it up, and I'm just gonna add the Asim best wiggle right here. This preset is actually like goated. It is like all the sauce. If you like ever seen the videos I did the VFX on, you might see all those like wiggles that I use. So this is the effect right here, which I'll be using from a while, and it is really dope. So I just thought it to like put it on the pack. But whenever the slow mo start just add this wiggle right here best wiggle and just you can just line it up maybe so something right here now if you play it through you can see the magic right there it's as that wiggle it adds that chroma right there which i really love so if you want to grab this pack i'll link it in the description this pack is actually actually goated i'm not even glazing myself but it is like actually goated i can 100 percent guarantee that it is one of the best pack out right now on this like editing scene so i'll link it in the description if you want to just like try it out and also the bogo is going on so you can add like two packs and get one for free but enough of self promo our final effect looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this i keep dropping like these type of sauce like consistently and you can follow me on instagram follow cozy on instagram and i'ma see you on the next one peace